so I wanted to make this video about the best type of fencing, in my opinion, is a chain link fence. And I'll go over the reasons why. Chain link fences are affordable, they're extremely durable, and they require very little maintenance. And they can be repaired if they're, if they're damaged. Uh, a chain link fence that's powder coated and black like this can be attractive. And you can also use things to still create privacy if you're worried about hiding what's in your backyard. So in this example, we used a black coat, powder coated chain link fence as opposed to a wood fence. I'll show you here in a second. As you can see here, you can, you can grow plants next to a chain link fence that will provide privacy. This is a huge bunch of rose bushes that are on this part of my side yard that provide a lot of privacy. And they look more beautiful than a fence that would provide privacy anyway. And the fence, is, and the fence doesn't require any maintenance. Uh, we put this fence up over five years ago and haven't had to do anything to it. Uh, so you can create privacy by using plants, like vines, like grapevines, or other plants that are planted next to the fence to create privacy. You can also put privacy slats in chain link fences, which I don't love the way those look and they cost quite a bit more, but I think plants are a good way to go if you need privacy in a chain link fence. You can hardly even see through that because there's a big dense bush there in that area of, of rose bushes. So chain link fences are very affordable. They're still fairly expensive, but any fence is expensive. And the nice thing about a chain link fence is they require very little maintenance over time and they're very durable. And the, the wind can blow right through them so they don't blow over in windstorms. Another good fence that I think is a good strong and well long-lasting fence is a wrought iron fence, a metal fence where the, it just has metal rods going up and down. Those metal fences can work quite well and last a long time as well. They're just more expensive than chain link fences are. You see up there we have a wood fence that's between my yard and my neighbor's yard. Wood fences always deteriorate over time. The, the wood will rot. Even if you stain and paint them, they still fade and get ruined over time as water and sunlight damage the wood and damage the paint or the stain that you put on the wood. So wood fences, while they're not very expensive, the materials, they still require a lot of labor and they're very maintenance intensive. You have to paint them and stain them frequently. The wood posts will rot and the posts will eventually have to be replaced. They tip over in the wind. The wind will blow them down in strong wind storms because they catch the wind and the wind isn't, allowed, isn't able to blow through them and they require a ton of maintenance. You have to paint them all the time and replace the wood frequently as it rots and as it decomposes. So wood fences, they can be attractive if done well, but they require a ton of maintenance and I don't recommend them just for that reason, just because they require too much maintenance. The one benefit of a wood fence is the materials can be affordable and they provide some privacy. Uh, but they, in the long run, I don't think it's worth it because of the amount of maintenance that they require. Here's another example of a chain link fence that's covered in a large grapevine. So this grapevine has created privacy with the chain link fence. Here's another example of another rose bush that creates some privacy on a chain link fence. So vinyl fences are terrible. They just break way too easily. This is not a vinyl fence. This is a vinyl railing that's on my deck and it, it shatters and breaks too easily. It gets a little bit brittle in the sun, eventually cracks and breaks. And if you've ever driven around and seen a white vinyl fence or whatever color vinyl fence is made out of, it eventually gets holes in it. Kids will kick holes in it or balls will break a hole through the fence. So vinyl fences, while they don't require painting or maintenance in that regard, they do break and, they're, and they do blow over in the wind because there's no way for the wind to blow through them. So having a vinyl fence can look beautiful for many years and doesn't require much maintenance but the, the pieces of vinyl just break too easy. Here's another example of the, the top thing that broke. So vinyl is a nice looking low maintenance material, but it does break too easily, which is why I think chain link or wrought iron fences are a far superior material to use for fencing for longevity and less maintenance and less cost over time. Hello YouTube. I just wanted to announce that we recently reached a thousand subscribers and we're so thankful to all of you who've subscribed to our channel and supported us. Thank you so much for watching and liking our videos and making comments. We really appreciate the support and we're excited to continue to upload how-to videos to help you save money and save time and anything we can do to help you. Uh, and I'm eventually going to pass this channel on to my son here when I get too busy to upload videos and I'll 
I'll let him continue the, the tradition. Yeah, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.